What's up guys? My name's Thierry and in today's video I'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys asked around how to build your screen and to answer that I will um, teach you how I did to build my screen uh, three years ago when I started to do vocals and how I build the screams of everyone uh, that I did a video about teaching their technique. So let's do this. All right, so how do you build your scream? Well, first of all, you, you need to know the base of the technique. So don't bother watching this if you don't really know false folds or fry scream in the first place. When you have a basic false folds or fry scream sound, now you can watch this video and you're gonna improve by a ton. First of all, you need to work on your tone, okay? And working on your tone is basically finding the middle point between uh, loudness, which is basically projection, and managing the airflow. And all of that works with your ability to compress the air, so compression, okay? What that means is if you go too loud, well, that doesn't do you any favor because you're gonna be stuck with the distortion isolated and that's usually the problem uh, that people have when um, their scream is too clicky or is too throaty. That's usually because they try to project too much so the overtones are kind of left behind and you're stuck only with the distortion of the false folds uh, which is not really what you want. You know, some people work with that and that's okay but if you want the better full tone uh, that's not what you sh should aim for and going too low like not loud enough um, will not do you any favor either because it's gonna you're gonna find that it's very very hard to control the distortion of your scream and that's not what you want if you want a consistent scream you want to you know have that enough air to actually do it okay so how do you do that well there's no easy path to get there it's just experimentation okay so you have to adjust your airflow letting more air through compress more uh, you have to try with that for me i compress a ton so my abs are always flexing and it feels like i'm holding a lot of air and my scream is not that loud it's just it's only a tiny bit louder than my normal speaking voice of course with the highs it's very very like it's very loud but for the lows it's just a tiny bit louder than my speaking voice i personally feel like um being that loud without a full big tone is not that good compared to being a bit softer in volume and having a perfect tone well i'm not it's not perfect but Close. Next point, well, it's the famous uh, distortion placement. It sounds very complicated. I assure you, it's so easy. You're gonna be knocking your head on your desk. It's so stupid easy. First of all, the name is uh, a little confusing, if you want my opinion, uh, because it's not really the distortion is not moving if you do false folds screaming is still the sound is still coming from your false folds okay it's just that it feels like it's vibrating from somewhere else so if i'm talking about a nasal distortion placement i'm basically talking about the vibration of the air being made in my nasal cavities so to get to a nasal distortion placement you would do a eh sound okay it's very french so it's eh and you can speak like this and you will hear it it's in the nose it feels like it's in the nose and you just add your scream over that and you have a nasal scream okay so it's usually used with the highs so yeah! highs like this okay so it's nasal for the lows it's a bit tricky because um, the mouth shape and all is not very like it's you bring everything down it's like bringing everything away from your nose 
so it feels tricky but you know in half an hour you can get, you can do it it's just practicing and trying to get the air to go in the nose even though you're having a mouth very low so that's nose okay next there is uh, the distortion placement in the mouth that's where everybody does it naturally usually uh it's a oh that's the distortion placement is in the mouth so but you can with the mouth move it forward backwards how do you do that well to move it forward to keep you keep that o shape oh and you move your lips forward as if you were gonna whistle or give a quick kiss okay so it's a oh, Okay, I feel it vibrate in my lips to bring it backwards. Some people say the distortion placement goes down in the throat. It's a ah uh, sound. It's very back ah. Uh, that's also very very French. Ah, uh, I feel it vibrate here, but I still think that it's a uh, mouth distortion placement. So you go from back to forward. Uh, Okay, and uh, with the scream. Okay, so there you have it, distortion placement. You can play with that, uh, you can test new sounds with it. Next up, tongue placements. Well, that's a big part of it. Well, how many tongue placement there is? Well, infinite, there's an infinite amount of tongue placements but there is a few well there's three maybe tongue placement that come back for every sound and you just vary the placement of the tongue with these and it's gonna sound a little different so what do you have well you have a tunnel throat okay tunnel throat is a tongue placement it's not made in the throat it's uh with the tongue so for me i do it like this okay so my tongue is like this behind the bottom row of my teeth and do my scream like this <coughs> okay highs okay you hear it tunnel throat so next you have the uh well i don't even know if it has a name but it's uh the tongue like this okay so it's like this behind the top row of your teeth okay so it's gonna sound like this and you can do big squeals with that. Uh, toilet bowls. Okay. Um, and then there is this, uh, like, uh, pointing tongue. Like this. And it's just pointing towards your mouth. Like this. And with a distortion placement very forward in the mouth, just as I told you how to do you're gonna get this sound and you're gonna recognize it it's in every deathcore song ever okay so there you have it tongue placement now for the best tip of all okay so this this is gonna change your life okay uh, I've never seen this in any video tutorial ever on YouTube honestly if you see someone teaching this somewhere else give them a like subscribe to them because i've never seen anyone say that and honestly it changed the world for me okay it allowed me to learn screaming techniques so much faster and shortcut through tons of pain so i'm gonna break it down to you okay you can't practice screaming more than one or two hours per day okay it's not gonna be good for you over two hours and you're not go even gonna practice well over two hours even after one hour it's not gonna be even that good so you're limiting yourself to two one or two hours of practice per day and if you go over that two or three hours you're just gonna you know you're not gonna scream well you're gonna focus on your distortion that is kind of going away and you know, you're not going to be as well and focusing on the overtones and the subtilities of your scream. So you have to find a way to scream without screaming. And that sounds fucking stupid. That sounds impossible. 
okay? But you have to find a way to scream without screaming. What's the way to do that? Well, you can't speak. You can't sing. Your vocal cords are gonna be engaged and in false folds, they're not engaged. And in fry scream, they are engaged in other ways. So there's no point. Well, what do you do? What's, what's the closest to a scream that you can do? Well, whispering. Whispering is the closest. So you just whisper scream everything when you practice. You just go like this. You can do everything. You can practice on your overtones, you can practice on your tunnels, you can practice on your, uh, you know, big squeals. When I, when I do that, I hear the overtones of the pig squeal. So I know that when I will scream it with the same tongue placement, the same mouth shape, I'm going to have a pig squeal. So. It works perfectly. I was working, you know, on the road and stuff. So in the car, I would always whisper scream to every song. And if I was working for like six, seven, eight hours, I would be able to practice my overtones, practice everything for the whole day. And I would be ready when I come home to record something and be in top shape. So whisper scream guys, that's the key. That's gonna change your world. You're gonna be able to develop so many sounds like this. You can copy the, the screamers I told in the other tutorials. Uh, you know that, uh, I don't know, CJ McCree. <laughs> I hear it, I hear it, and I know that if I do it after, it's gonna sound the same. It's just, it's only gonna be a matter of adjusting your scream to the other mouth shapes, overtones, and things you practiced before. And you're not gonna have to focus on your scream staying there while you practice, um, your scream fading away, uh, the, all the subtleties behind your scream that you can't hear over the distortion of your scream. It's all gonna be so much easier for you. All right, so that's what I have for you today. I hope it helps. I hope it's gonna help you as much as it did help me. And well, I hope it, helps you get a better scream, the scream that you're wishing to have and, you know, copy other screamers and uh, other techniques and stuff. So yeah, have fun with this guys and uh, well, tell me how it went. And uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I'm gonna make a few other videos like this. <laughs> all right, see ya.